Hello everyone, welcome to HTML Basics Tutorial Episode 2. Um, today we're going to talk about resizing the image that we created last time. If you need to go back to that video, you can click the banner in the upper right. Uh, we're also talking about our indenting and how um, the first video we don't have perfect indention and we need to try to fix that and um, get that going in the right direction from the very start. Uh, we'll also talk about adding a multi-line text box, resizing text box to be a little bit wider. And we're also going to add a submit button. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first let's talk about our uh, indenting. Um, you want to make sure it's as readable as possible. And anything that is a child of another tag um, should be indented. So for the header, the title is the clear part in the tab header. Um, and so that is its own being. And then body should all be the only thing on this line and it should be all the way down through here. Okay, everything else should be at least one over if it's a child of it. Now, is header two part of header one? No, so they can be on the same line. Um, they're, they're on the same level. Now, is image part of header two? Yes, and so I would go ahead and move that over. And any breaks, you can notice, I like to just have them stand out. Um, it's not like you have to read anything there. So I like to have them be clear though, so that people know where the breaks are. Um, and then here's where our issues really start to, to happen. Uh, paragraph, first of all, is part of header two. And so it is underneath, it is a child of header two. And also that is in, in not the proper way to indent uh, text. Text should be indented on its own row, excuse me, own uh, line indention. And so um, now we have it just about right. Uh, I could fix a few things here, but for the most part, that's that's what we want. All of these are part of the form and are inside of it. Um, and so I like how this is looking. Okay. And the rest of the way looks good too. Okay. So um, the next thing we're going to do is talk about resizing an image. So we have our image here that we've uh, gotten from our folder. You can always go into your folder, find the picture. It's a JPEG. And in general, if you want something that's normally a little bit clearer, depending on the photo quality, uh, you want to use a JPEG. Otherwise, a PNG will work, um, but JPEGs have a little bit more clarity. Uh, open with, and you can open with paint always, and then you can just resize, change the pixel size, and this will, and you can do this anytime. Um, so you could put like 400, whoa! Too big okay and then I would save it and then I would make sure that it is bigger on this um, saved in into this file make sure you don't save another copy somewhere else and that's what you keep saving it to um, but you can always do that um, you can also do it uh, through HTML code so let's talk about that um, we can talk about width so you want to make sure you're inside of this um, tag width equals uh, 200, I don't need to see that much of myself as I did last time, 200, and then height, 200. And it's, it's a lot easier um, if you guys use that autocomplete, if it's there, um, like I misspell height and I can just click enter. And that once you get used to that, it goes way faster by just doing that autocomplete whenever you can. So remember to control S to save, or if you wanna make a certain test, you can always save as. We can go in and you have your first web page and we have the size of my picture just a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit more obvious. We'll make it nice and big. Control S. Um, and then, woo, okay. Get rid of that now. Okay, so um, you know how to do that, width and height. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just change this to a smaller size. Make it a little bit more comfortable for me. Okay, um, now we are gonna resize our text box that we have already created. So in here, we have our first name and our last name and our email. See, maybe your email is a little bit longer. Uh, maybe you want to give, at least give the user a little bit more room. So we can always go in and see email. And then you can just add in size and say size equals uh, 70. And that should be plenty big enough. That would be 70 characters. So you can enter 70 characters in there. And so if I refresh this, whew, it's a little smaller. Email is 70 characters long. I don't think there's one many longer than that. So 
that should be fine. Um, so, so yeah, just simply adding size here will uh, increase the size, and you can do that on your text box, any of the text boxes, emails, you name it. But let's say we wanted uh, the user to enter like an entire paragraph. Um, well, this is actually something that's an HTML that's different than just a regular input. Um, you're going to just do a whole text area tab, and then um, that will get you set up with your text area. Now, um, the text area needs, you can specify, so rows, enter, is 10, and calls is 50. So let's see what that looks like. Um, control S. refresh and there we go but you notice there's a problem this is seeing email and it's then doing uh, your your text area but it's doing it next to it it needs to either be above or below it so let's go ahead and, and format that a little bit better so we have our email and we need to have a line break and maybe even two and I'm just gonna put in this um, for something like comments that I'm not going to do any CSS code. I'm not going to do anything that, um, to change the style of it. I just want literally that text to be in there. Um, you can just type in text and HTML will have it show up on the screen. I could type in all this. And if I do control S and we pull up the web page, there's a few changes, the line break, this gets typed out and then comments, okay? And so um, if that's what you want, you can always add in something along those lines. So I'm actually gonna do comments and then a line break right next to comments so that it gives the text area on the next line. And then um, what I'm also going to do is I'm actually gonna have text area be right like this and you you want these on the same line, these tags together, if you, um, if it's just something that's short that you're making and some, something like text area is just like that. And so we can also create a, a submit button. And so we can do one more input and uh, you will do a submit and submit because it's a button. So it's just going to have a submit button. Let's go ahead and do BR tab, get a line break in there, control S and refresh. And now we have our submit on that same line. Let's go ahead and do a line break there too. I must not have done control S, control S. Let's refresh because that should be underneath. There it is. So submit. So you, you can actually type something in, hello. And then you can submit. Now we don't have the server side. Um, and guys, when you see these form action process.php method post, these are, are things for the server side. And that when we get into um, a little bit more in depth web development, we will talk about those things. But for now, just follow along and these are some cool things just to get you started and so you, you learn some of the basics. So now you know how to do proper indenting to make your code readable. Uh, you know how to resize an image, both width and height. You also know how to resize a text box so that it is um, has a certain number of characters. You have created a text area that has a certain number of rows and columns with it created some comments text and created an input of a submit button. So your, your website should look something like this now where you can type in comments and you can submit. It won't send it anywhere, but that's something we'll get into a little bit later and you can resize this image um, to however big you want it as well as make this email character text box really large. So I hope you enjoyed episode two of HTML basics tutorial. If you felt like this video was helpful, I would always appreciate a like or subscribe uh, at the bottom of the page. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. 
uh, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next episode.